Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. Come on in. Come on in. Come join us. Yes. As we come together to lift up the name of Jesus, the name above every name. Yes. Where in one day, every knee is going to bow and confess that he, he is Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So come on in. Come on in. We thank God. We thank God for yet another Sunday where we come together. Yes. We lift up the name of Jesus. We worship him in spirit and in truth, knowing that he is an awesome God. Yes, he he is. is a true living God. The only God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Alpha, the Omega. The beginning and the end. The mm. author and the finisher of our faith. Yes. The one who has begun a good work in us and is faithful to make sure that it is completed. We say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thine is the glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless his wonderful name. Glory. Hallelujah. Yes. yes, I know you're probably saying, well, where y'all at? Well, this is our seventh wedding anniversary. Yes. yes. This is August 20th. 2023, this makes seven years of holy matrimony yes. between my husband, Dean Bishop in his man, <laughs> and myself. Apostle Dawn Nickelman. And we are the pastors of Love of Jesus Deliverance Ministries. Yes. And we thank God that we are celebrating on this day. When um, we're going away and we're going to spend some time together. And we got our little friends. So if you see that head popping in the back, that was that's what we created out of this union. Our son, yes. Adonai Admiel Alvarez. Nickel Manning. Yes. So we are celebrating and we are getting up the road um, and we are going to just enjoy ourselves. But you all know how we stand when it comes to Sunday. Yes. We do not break ourselves amongst the brethren. But this is our Sabbath and we keep it holy and we make sure that we proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. And so we're coming to you no matter what the situation is because this is our time to worship, to give God glory and to honor him yes. on this day. Amen. And so we want you to join in. I see y'all coming on air. Come on, let them know that Apostle and Bishop are here on the yes, air. Even though, our, even though it's our anniversary, we are still here. We are coming together to make sure that the word of God goes forth. So go ahead and click the like and the share button. Call somebody, those of you who are part of Love of Jesus Deliverance, and say, come on, y'all join in. Apostle and Bishop, they are on Facebook Live. We yes. also have the conference line opened up. For those of you who are not able to get on Facebook Live, but come on, come on, come, come on, on, come on in. Come on, Bishop, let's start getting started in prayer. Heavenly Father, we, we come to you humble as we know how, Lord. We thank you for thank seven you. years of marriage of completion, God, of completion. We are complete as one. You said, where a man found it for wife, he found it for good thing. Lord, I love you. I glorify you. I honor you. Holy Ghost, you are welcome in this place, in this time, in this hour. Use us for your glory. We magnify you. We honor you. God, we just lift you up. We bless you with the fruit of our lips, God. Have your way, God. Lord, you are Jehovah Jireh. Our Jehovah Nisi. Our Jehovah Rapha. Lord, we just want to say thank you. Lord, we just want to say thank you. We honor you. We praise you. We lift you up. We Exalt your name today, God. You are worthy of the call. You are worthy of the praise. You are worthy of the high call. We love you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The name of the Lord is a strong tower that we can run yes. into and be saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God. I would like to say thank you to every well-wisher, to every partner of this ministry, to every congregant. We say thank you thank for you. all of the things that you do to keep our ministry going up and moving forward. Yes. And we, that's it. We're going up. Can't go any no. other way. When you serve the Lord, you can't go anywhere but up. up. Amen. So it's like, you know, you, you got to keep your eye on the prize. You got to stay focused and press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus, knowing that in the end, what? We gonna win, yes. hallelujah! Let's. So we just thank God for everyone that works with us that had that winning attitude, mm. that they have the deep understanding and knowing that this ministry has been purposed to do a work with the earth. Yes. And yes. so we are working while it is yet day. Mm -hmm. We have put our hands to the plow and we are not looking back. No, we are not looking back. We're not so a we thank wife. God. That's right. We thank God for yes. each and every one of you who send in your tithes, your contributions, and your donations. We truly appreciate Thank it. You. And I want you to know this, that God is going to bless you beyond what mm. you think, imagine, or believe. Any person that will tell you when they give into the good ground uh, of ministry, of kingdom building, that God always makes sure that his perpetual covenant 
is not void, but it yeah. is something that is consistent and it happens. That's why it's a perpetual covenant. When you sow seed into good ground, when you sow seed into ministry, the ministry work, God makes sure that he returns it back to you. And mm. he returns it back to you in a way where in your cup will overflow. overflow Hallelujah. Yeah. Where in you will not have enough room for mm. the blessings it, to receive it, the blessings it, that he wants to it, give you on high. If you don't believe me, look at Malachi chapter 3. Read it for yourself. Mm -hmm. God says, let me prove myself to you. Let test yes, me in this. Yes. And I guarantee I will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing yes. where you will not have enough room to receive. God said it, not me. God said it. And yes. I tell you, I attest to that word. I attest mm. to that scripture because every time I'm a tie paying pastor yes, and too. every time I yes. sow seed into the ministry, it comes back to Come me back. beyond yeah. what I can think, imagine, beyond or believe. Measure. God takes care of each and every one of my days. I remember from the time I had my first job, I shared this story. I had my first job at the Grunnings. Uh, it was a candy store and it was a soda shop. And that was my first job. I got my job when I was 13 years old. And I was excited because my grandmother always taught me the importance of tithing. And when I got my first check, I was so happy to go to church on that Sunday and to get an envelope and put my tithes in that envelope to give into the kingdom of God. Yeah. Since the age of 13, that has been a practice of my life. And that word that says, I have never seen the righteous forsaken or see out begging bread. Right. I can it. attest say to that. It. That say is it. a personal testimony of mine because I make sure that I give and sow seed into good ground. Even say to it. charity work. I've assisted in charity work. And I heard every time I've done something for the good works, things that are relating to ministry, things that are, are helping out for things to, 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 to move forward, to progress yes. as it pertains to God's work. Mm -hmm. When I sow seed in that direction or in those particular grounds God has blessed me beyond what I can think, imagine or believe and you know what? God has no respect to persons. What mm. he's done for say one it. he'll do for another. Say so I, I, I tell you, I say look at that word in Malachi chapter 3. Read it for yourself. And allow for God to prove himself to you. Yes. Our God, the true living God, he is not a man that he should lie. But everything that comes out of his mouth, from his scripture, from his word, it is thus and so. Yes. Meaning that it will come to pass. Amen. 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 God is so good. Yes. I hope you are enjoying this beautiful Sunday. We are definitely enjoying our Sunday. I'm quite sure you're saying, well, why, why are y'all in the car? Once again, this is our seventh wedding anniversary, August yes. 20th, 2016. We uh, made that agreement to be man and wife uh, and to make sure that we made the covenant, including God, to be the center and the focus of our marriage, yes. to walk and to do what God has called us to do as a power couple. And so we have committed to that. Has it always been easy? No. no, but you know what? But Through God. God, that's right. But God. Through God, we can do all things. We can do all things. Through Christ who gives us the strength to do it. And I can tell you, if you, you, it's work. Marriage is work. But if you put your time in, if you, if you stay dedicated to your vows, mm. the blessings will come forth. They will, they will pour out. Your relationship will get stronger. Your walk with God, include yes, him in your will. walk. Don't, you cannot, uh, 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 ex, ex, just totally just ex God out of your mm. relationship. No. You need him. He created the both of you. Yes. So why not speak to the creator? So when you don't understand your husband, when you don't understand your wife, you can go to the one that created them say it, and say, say Lord, it, help say me it, with this. It. Help me with this knucklehead. <laughs> sometimes it's like that. Not all the time. But when you get in those moments, you, 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 sometimes people want to talk to everybody else, yes. but you got to talk to God because God made that person. God mm. made that individual. And when you have God in your relationship, God will tell you, he's not a knucklehead. <laughs> he's just having a challenging time right now. And I need for you to have some long suffering. I need for you to be patient and I need for you to just consistently, consistently work with your partner. And you know what? Before you know it, things will turn around and it will work for the good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It will work for the good of those who trust and believe in him. Mm. So we are celebrating. I hope you are celebrating with us. And I just thank God once again for um, his gift that he gives us through his creation, through those he, he has created. And I thank God for creating Dennis Nanny, for Dawn Nickel, because now we are one and we are working 
out our soul salvation together and we are working to win because we have made that commitment to stay with God and to stay with each other. Yes. Amen. 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 All uh, right, Bishop, your commentary. Uh, Apostle said uh, uh, marriage is work. Marriage is also ministry. Yes, it is. And um, it's a song I'll put your time in. Mm. Payday gonna come out the wow. Yes, it is. And even though we had our seventh year, which is completion, mm -hmm. the word of God said, a man that find it for life. Yes. Find it for good thing. Amen. So I found a good thing seven years ago. We still working, we still in the ministry. And and, and and brothers, married people I'm talking to. I'm not singling out the single ones right now. I'm just saying married couples, my brothers, apostles, pastors. Prophets, evangelists, and teachers, do me a favor. Listen to your wives. Amen. Listen to your wife. A lot of brothers, um, I believe God put that woman in your life for the word called push. Mm -hmm. Help me, Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. The word push means push until something happens. Mm -hmm. So when God put that certain woman into your life, something is happening. Amen. Marriage is not a moment. It's a movement. Oh, yes. With God. Mm -hmm. Y'all have to understand marriage. Take it seriously. Don't take it lightly. Mm -hmm. Appreciate your wife. Tell your wife you love her sometime. And go to her all the time. Okay. All the time. See that all right? See what I'm saying? See, see? Living witness right now. We ministering. Mm -hmm. But correction. With the wife, same thing. Apostle, I say something. To apostle, this, that, and other. Not like Apostle said early on. Let me jump in this. Let me jump in this. God gave me this mm -hmm. as we was riding up the road. Amos three and three said, "Can two walk together except they agree?" I'm not singling y'all. I just got to talk about marriage today because we are celebrating seven years. You have to learn to agree with God. Agree with God first, right? Learn to agree with your mate. Mm -hmm. mm. Listen, can two walk together except you got to learn to agree on some things. I'm just going to talk about marriage right now. I'm just going to stay right here for a minute because, like I said, a man that found a wife found it for a good thing. My brothers, I understand you the man, you the head of the household, but sometimes you got to learn to step down. What I mean by step down, that means get humble in your spirit. You got to learn to stay humble, talk to your wife, this, that, and the other, this, that, and the other. I, I have to say this with Apostle, my wife, openly. Um, we don't have arguments. We have disagreements. Apostle don't like for me to yell at her. She's not a dog. You yell at dogs. That's what, that's a, that's a, that's a, I, I learned that from correction from my dad, even her father. My father-in-law, when he was living told me some stuff, said some stuff to me, this, that, and the other. You just can't say anything or out of order. You got to learn to do things in order. Help me, Holy Ghost. With your marriage, you got to learn. You can't, you got to walk together to agree on some things. It get a little shaky, but I learned this with Apostle. What moves Apostle is prayer. You got to learn to pray with your mate. Two cannot walk together unless they agree. Here, hear me, hear, hear me out. Hear me out, brothers. Hear me out, brothers. Talk to your mate. Tell your mate. I learned these three things from my um, spiritual father, Bishop David Barnes. Right? I learned these three things. And I, I'm getting better at certain certain ones. And one little, I'm getting better at it. Finance, romance, and communication. Mm -hmm. I learned this on in the class that I took with my spiritual father. He taught me you have to have those things uh, in your marriage. No brother, sometimes hard with certain money and this, that, and the other. I, I'm learning more and more and more to open up more uh, 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 rough IRAs, 401k. So when I retire, man, the possible want to go somewhere and do some things like today. I feel good today to treat my wife today. I feel good by the blessing of the Holy Ghost. But thanks to God, listen to your wives. Stay on one accord with each other. Don't fall off. If you, you fall off a little bit, come back. Oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Learn to apologize and uh, 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 
pray, pray, help me, help me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, Pastor Thick Friend, for what you said. Thank you. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do it. I, 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 I'm learning on this walk each and every day to, to get humble with my wife and talk to her more, tell her sometimes this, this is what I feel, what you think. But, well, how you think I should do plan out uh, with your own businesses and certain things and things that you need to do and, and line up. Sweetheart, what you think? Just listen to your wives. Stay on one accord. Walk together. Agree together. Let me tell you something. Pray together as a married couple. Pray together. Know why? If you pray, y'all going to stay. If you fast, we going to last. Amen. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me. Help me. Help me teach this thing. Mm -hmm. I'm learning each and every day of my life to stay humble with my wife. Baby, what's up? How you doing today? How's you? I, 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 I'm learning. How was your day today? How do you feel today? I'm learning. But how, sweetie, how, 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 how you feel today? Call her. And she'll call me, ask me where I'm on my workplace. How you doing? You okay? My job a little day. But she said, you okay? It don't take no long drawing out nothing. Y'all married to that. That's your wife. That ain't no girlfriend. That ain't no chick mm -hmm. on no side. Help me, Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. That's your wife. That's your wife. Call me anytime. This, that, no. She can pull up on the job. Uh oh, I ain't got nobody. I ain't got nobody. <laughs> yeah, you do. I ain't got nobody. <laughs> she pull ups on the job. I'm outside, Bishop. Mm -hmm. I'm outside. I don't grumble and say, I'm coming right out. You need that sometime. She tell me, I appreciate you. I start crying because it's happy cry for my wife to tell me, I appreciate you. I thank God for you. And what, what I'm learning for another spiritual mind, Pastor Alvarez, I'm learning, God, I want more of you. Each and every day of my life, every minute, every second, every hour, God, I want more of you. That way I can get better with my wife. Mm -hmm. I can line up with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm. The Holy Ghost got knowledge. Oh, yes. God got knowledge. Yes. She mm. said, see, want me to tell you why the Holy Ghost got knowledge? He said, before I formed you, mm. I knew you mm -hmm. in your mother's womb. Mm -hmm. Say, for God, just stop by. Learn to walk together more with your wife. Yes. Help me, Holy Ghost. Amen. Learn to appreciate one another. Amen. Tell each other you love her. I appreciate you. Give her a hug and a kiss. Mm -hmm. I'm learning that. Mm -hmm. Thanks to God. And one more important thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to let nobody separate me mm -hmm. from the love of Christ. As long as I got Christ and King Jesus, That's I'm right. talking about on that deep inside with the Holy Ghost. Uh-huh. My marriage is going to get better, sweeter, and stronger. Mm -hmm. Married couple, remember these three things. Finance, romance, and communication. God bless you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Bless your apostles. Those tools, those tools, they help us, you know, and those things, they bring us into the realm of processing and synthesizing on how to better ourselves as companions and those tools and those things that we can recall just you know just by simple um you know um different acronyms a word placement it just helps us especially when you're in those moments where you have to just bring to recall that listen this person is here um as a blessing and you know you, you can't allow for the enemy to make your partner appear to be a curse. You got to say, no, this person is here as long as you're willing to work. And that's the thing. If someone is willing to work, if someone is willing to say, okay, give me a minute to let me apologize. Give mm. me a minute to mm. let me say mm. some words or get my thoughts together. Mm. Give me, if yes. you're willing to yeah. work, if you're willing to work, you need to work with it. And you need to, you need to see that as a blessing mm -hmm. and continue to grow in what God has given you as far as being a, a, a person who is now a companion, who is now the counterpart of another person to walk in this life together. God is so good. Yes, yes he is. He is so good. 
Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you, yes. praise you, and give you honor and glory. Yes, we thank you for who you are. Mm -hmm. We thank you for your word, your, your divine revelation that you pour oh, down. Yes. So, Father, in this moment and in this time, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would mm -hmm. just take out any distraction, that you would open up the understanding to those who had an ear to hear what you are saying. Father, you are the potter. I am but the clay. Give me your divine words to say. Move in this moment, even for those who may listen or yes. the future. Father God, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable mm. unto you, Father God, yes. and let it touch and meet the need of your people. Yes. In Jesus' name, Jesus. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Now, I'm not going to be before you long because we we, we got to still get up the road and we got to still enjoy this time while we have it. But I wanted to share with you what God gave me. And I was, I was saying, Lord, you know what to say? And the Lord said, talk about Holy Ghost power. And I said, oh, Holy Ghost. I said, well, you know, Pentecost, you know, your brain starts talking back. Pentecost, you know, um, has passed. And, you know, we're, you know, I don't you know. We're never out of the season of allowing for Holy Ghost power to operate in our lives. So I want to give you this scripture. Please write it down and go back and read it for yourself. Romans 15, 13. Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, mm. you may abound in hope. Hope is what keeps us in a state of mind to keep going on. Hope does not, uh, 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 it, it does not look at what is directly in front of us what we feel or, or what we uh, um, just basically uh, physically uh, appears to us. But the hope in our faith is in the fact that we believe that God is God yes. and he's going to do what he's, he said he's going to do in our lives, that he's going to keep us in perfect peace as we keep our mind stayed on him. And all of this is through the operation by having the power of the Holy Ghost working and operating in your yes. lives. Now, some people say, okay, well, Dawn, what is your faith? People ask me all the time. I, I am apostolic Pentecostal, but I'm not denomination. Meaning that, look, if I if I find find me a, a Catholic church and I want to go in there and pray, I'm not going to stop myself because I know that if you believe in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, I'm okay. I'm not going to stop myself if I if I go by a Baptist church and they're preaching the unadulterated Word of God just because it's a Baptist church. I'm, that's not going to stop me from visiting AME, Episcopal, Presbyterian, Protestant, whatever. I am non-denomination because sometimes denominations, they separate us from being connected as the kingdom of God. We who believe in the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we are a part of the kingdom of God and nothing should separate us or nothing should cause for us to hesitate and join together because the spirit of God, the Holy Ghost on the inside of Say us it. should identify with the Holy Ghost on the inside of another. Say it. We should be in all in operation together. Mm -hmm. There's the, in the body of Christ, there should be no division. Mm. I understand that they have all of the denomination, reformation. Oh, we got this group and that group, all this that and the other. No, when I say I'm a believer and I believe in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, when I say, oh, I need prayer, and somebody say, come on, let's pray me. They come on, let's pray. We come together and we pray. We come together and it's something about our spirit that connects. That's my brother in Christ. That's my sister in Christ. Man. We, mm -hmm. we can't allow for denominations to separate us. Well, uh, it's sad because Sunday is one of the most segregated times within within the week, throughout, mm -hmm. especially throughout the United States, because you have your different groups and different churches. They, they separate themselves based on their similarities or what they like or their their traditions or what have you. But mm -hmm. there's no traditions there's in the spirit of God, there's no tradition. He's going to call them from the north, the south, the east and the west. Yes. And when we all get together, what a time, what a time, what a time. It's not going to it's not going to uh, 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 matter if you're Kojic. It's not going to matter if you're DEC. It's not going to matter if you're Baptist. It's not going to matter. It's mm. not going to matter Say it. when God calls us together on assignment and it all clicks and we put all of these things to the side. It's going to be through the Holy Ghost power mm. that we are going to move and march through this land like a mighty army Same. and the world the carnal world that don't yet know him they will look at us and they will know that we are saved and that we are the children of god by the love that we show one towards another mm. 
May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. Your believing is important. God wants to fill you with joy and peace. You are not to, supposed to be walking this walk sad and somber. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to have peace in your spirit. You're supposed to be joy. You, let me tell you something. The enemy comes to kill, still and destroy. And you got to know it, but you have to also know that the counter, the uh, uh, the aftermath of that particular scripture says what? But he, he gave us Jesus and he gave us his son yes. so that we can have life and live life abundantly. Mm. Yes. So you know what? Even though something may come my way, trials and tribulation, through the power of the Holy Ghost, I'm going to smile because now I have joy, unspeakable joy, the joy that the Lord gave me, the Lord gave it to me and the world cannot take it away. Same. These worldly carnal things, uh, the economy going down, crime going up, there's famine in the land, pestilence. In, but you know what? The joy of the Lord mm. is my strength and mm. I'm going to remain strong because he has given me joy, unspeakable joy, mm. because of the power of the Holy Ghost. Same. What does the Holy Ghost power give you? What does the Spirit of God give you? It's important that you understand it. Come on, seven things. Is our seventh wedding anniversary. Seventh wedding anniversary. I'm talking about those seven things. The Holy Ghost Spirit gives you wisdom, mm. understanding, mm. counsel, mm. fortitude, mm. knowledge, piety, mm. and reverence for the Lord. Yes. Let's talk about wisdom for a minute. Sometimes we don't understand everything that's going on around us. But when we when we tap into that Holy Ghost power, God will give you wisdom and he will drop into you what needs to be done in that moment. You will even look at yourself and say, I didn't even know where that came from. It came from God. It came from a high. Because when you allow for the spirit of God to stir up the gifts on the inside of you, when you allow for that energy, that energy to, to, to start to stop being potential and now becomes kinetic. It's no potential mean it's there. There's a possibility of moving. But now when you say, uh-uh, Holy Ghost power I need you to lead me I need you to guide me What do you do? You activate mm. it And now the Holy Ghost power mm. It becomes kinetic energy wow. And now it starts bursting And it starts moving And it starts doing things And it gives you wisdom mm. So that you do not have to stand in a situation And feel as if you are stupefied uh -uh. Mm. God don't have us walking around being stupefied No he does not He'll give you wisdom. And people will look at you and be like, oh, let me tell you something, baby. Wisdom supersedes a degree, a diploma, a certificate. When you got the wisdom that the Holy Ghost gives you, that Holy Ghost power wisdom, let me tell you something. It, it, it will, it, uh, people will be confounded. Mm. People sitting in high places, CEOs, executives, lawyers, doctors. Where you get that from? Do you know one time I went into the doctor's office? A medical doctor. A medical doctor's office. And the doctor had told me that I was not going to be able to conceive. Okay, he said I had this particular condition and I would never be able to have children. Mm. He said, what the only thing that we could do is we can try these fertility drugs and da, 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 da. Thousands of dollars, this, that, and this, that, and the other. I went home. I told my father. My father prayed with me. And my father said, is that what God told you? So I said, you know what? God never told me that I wasn't going to have children. He said, okay, then whose report are you going to believe? And I said, you know what? I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. God gave me wisdom. Let me tell you something. God brought to my recall a family that had, uh, that, I mean, they would have sets of twins and they, you know, this, that, and the other. And the the set the sets of twins, it was just in that particular region, they were uh, prone to eating yams. Okay, so the Lord gave me a yam diet. All right. The next thing, our mother Hamilton, she has gone on to glory. She passed away last weekend. She has gone on to glory. Ninety six years old. She said, "Come here." She gave me this. Uh, it was a, a natural drink. And she said, you drink this. And she said, watch, you're going to have a baby. I said, Mother Hamilton, I'm too old. She said, drink it. Just drink it. This, that, another. She gave me that particular thing. These are two different times. The first, the doctor told me I couldn't have children. That's when I had a Lee. Um, then it was between a Lee and my son, Ad and I, there's a 14-year gap. So once again, at, at that 14-year gap, I thought that I wasn't going to be able to have any more children because I was at the, I was past 40 years old. 
my mother Hamilton, the first time, let me tell you what happened with the doctor. That time, my father spoke to me. He said, whose report are you going to believe? I was on the yam diet. I was eating the yams, ate the yams, came back. Um, I, I said, I was feeling funny, took a pregnancy test. It said positive. I took that pregnancy test and I took it to the doctor who told me that I could not have children. He looked at that pregnancy test and he got silent. He wasn't saying anything. He kind of like threw it. He tossed it to the side. He said, well, I guess we're going to have to get you, uh, uh, you know, the, the other type of testing. He, I, I had to say, it's not, the nurse of being here uh, will, will have, uh, to help you. Came back, took, did what I was supposed to do, this, that, and the other. He came back and he said, well, I guess you're pregnant. He was not happy about that because he was about to he was about to tax my purse yeah. with all of that fertility drugs. But thanks be unto God that I believe the report of the Lord and to sit in that place because, you know, I could have be become depressed. I could have been sad. I could have started crying. But the joy of the Lord was my strength. And, yeah. and God gave me wisdom to research on how to allow for my body to become a, a fertile so that I can bear my child. Mm -hmm. And so I became pregnant with my daughter. Bless me the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Then 14 years later, I married my, my husband, my present husband, Bishop Dennis Manning. And we were not, we were, it was not in the plan, but we always say, you know, whatever happens, it will happen. And you know, we, we going to go with whatever God has for us. We're going to yes. go with, but we did not plan it. But once again, I'm sitting there and, and, and I, we had talked to a mother Hamilton. We had visited mother, um, went down to Asbury park. I had saw mother Hamilton and mother Hamilton gave me this, uh, this, uh, drink. And it was, uh, she said it, it had like collagen in it. It had some vitamins in it, but she said, drink this. She said, drink this. And she said, watch, you're going you gonna to have a baby. And I said, mother Hamilton, I'm too old. She said, just drink it. And then she told me, she said, make sure she's, I'm going to give you this bottle. She said, cause this is expensive. She said, I'm going to give you this bottle, but make sure you, you buy me one back when you order uh, some more. So, cause she was giving me all of the things to do and what have you. But blessed be the name of the Lord. Once again, wisdom was dropped. And because wisdom was dropped, I became pregnant and I had my son. Yes. See, I'm telling you to say this. Sometimes God will go beyond the credentials or be beyond what, you know, what man considers to be all knowing or knowledgeable. The wisdom of God will direct you when you seek him. When you allow for the Holy Ghost power to stir mm. up on the inside of you, he will give you the wisdom on what to do and how to do it. He'll even send you to the right person. He'll send you to the right. He'll, even if it's a Google search, he will send you to the right source of information that will give you wisdom in your circumstance and your situation mm. to see you through. Come on. Holy mm. Ghost power. Somebody mm. say Holy Ghost power. Holy Ghost power. All right. All right. Understanding. See, understanding is important. Whoever you work with, you got to understand people. And the only way that you can understand people is through Holy Ghost power. Because yes. your flesh, your carnal flesh will say, they're getting on my nerves. I don't have time for that. Your carnal flesh will say, you know what? I don't have to deal with that. Goodbye. I'm going to go in another direction. But when you are working with people, God, he sent his son Jesus into the world to save it, not to condemn it. Jesus was a people person. He knew how to work with people because of the Holy Ghost power of understanding. He met people where they needed to meet. He didn't sit there. He sort of with the uh, 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 the uh, uh, two fish and five loaves. He sort of the people was hungry. He said, "We gotta give these people something to eat." I can't sit here and minister to them. They sit mm. up here hungry, right? He understood. So before he can preach his message, he said, come on, let me multiply this so these people can eat. And then I can go ahead and deliver the word. Mm. He understood. He spoke in parables. What were parables? Parables were scenarios and they were uh, uh, different stories that related to how people were experiencing life. Mm. He understood. Yes. Couples. That person, if a, per if a person... Or if people come to you and they say, oh, I knew everything about my spouse. That's not true. You're not going to know everything about your spouse. But God will, through the Holy Ghost power, give you understanding. Well, why when she wake up in the morning, she don't want to hear nobody talking. God will under give you understanding. That's a, that's a quiet time. God will speak to you. Oh, why he don't hang up his towels the way I want him to hang up his towel? God will give you understanding. And he will speak to you. And he will just say, okay, 
He will tell you how to work through that. And he will give you that understanding spirit to work with your spouse, to work with the people mm -hmm. that he has assigned you to be around, whether it's ministry or your job. Counsel. The Holy Spirit will give you that, that ability to counsel. When people start coming to you, asking you for advice, when people start coming to you because they, they feel that what you have to say is beneficial, that's because you have allowed for the Holy Ghost to work on the inside of you. So now the, that spirit of counsel, where you know what to say and you also know what not to say. Mm. See, being a good counselor, you have to have a good ear. You have to learn how to listen more, speak less. And when you do speak, it needs to be substantial. It needs to be edifying. It needs to be something that's going to move and cause for a paradigm shift. And that can only happen through what? Holy Ghost, Ghost power. power. All right, here we go. Four to two. I'm in number four. I'm almost there. Four to two. What does the Holy Ghost power do? It, it gives us fortitude. You ever meet somebody and it's like every three to four years, they done changed up. They went from one doctrine to another religion. They done changed a uh, 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 place of worship. They, you, you know, they're all around it. Their philosophy and their, their morals or their thinking on life. Every time you meet them, they have a different story. That's because they have not been fortified. The Holy Ghost will allow for you to be fortified. We're in, like when Jesus told Peter, upon this rock, I build my church yes. and the gates of hell shall not prevail mm. against it. And when we understand that Jesus is the chief cornerstone, he's the rock, he's our foundation. And we stand upon a firm foundation. We are fortified in who we are. So at this time and age in our life, the winds may blow the billows may be strong there can be showers and thunderous rains but we know who we serve we know that our God is the true living God and nothing will separate us from his love we're going to make sure that we stay fortified yes. rooted and grounded in the word wherein we will be like the tree planted by the water wherein we will not be moved that's through Holy Ghost power See, the reason why, don't please don't ever think that's you. That's you. Yeah, we had choice. But it's the Holy Ghost power that keeps us positioned, that keeps us in place and knowing who we are in Christ. Number five, knowledge. Knowledge. What's the difference between wisdom and knowledge? Wisdom deciphers in situations on how to control emotions or how to de-escalate a situation what is knowledge? Knowledge is knowing. It's the understanding of knowing. Now we're in a state of knowing what needs to happen. And through that knowing power, nothing but the Holy Ghost. How do we know? So many people, when they, they weren't shook when um, COVID hit, it was so many ministers that are, they just went through the knowing, hallelujah, through mm. the knowledge. People was already using conference lines. People was already using uh, Facebook Live mm. to minister because the knowledge of God, the knowledge of God down poured and said, okay, this and knowing how to operate and do this, things are going to come in the future. We don't want there to be an interruption in the gospel. So now that we know this is how we operate. See, the knowing helps us to operate and to continue to function. Knowing knowledge, it helps us to stay on top of our game. We are on the cusp of the wave. We don't get, we don't get cut under by the current, but rather we are on the cusp and we ride the wave because mm. of knowledge. Yes. The only way you can do that is through what? Holy Ghost power. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The last one, piety. Piety. We have to make sure. I got one more. This is number six, piety. We have to make sure that we're confident. Piety is being confident in our salvation. We, we can't be tossing to and fro. Tumbling we uh, uh, It's like, you know, uh, that it, it gathers no moss. Tumbling we it doesn't gather moss. But a tree that's rooted and grounded, you see things, you see the mushrooms growing around it, you see the moss growing around it, because that tree is rooted, it's grounded, right? But Tumble Louisa gathers nothing. But when we have piety and we have that understanding that, you know what, I am not conceited, but I am confident in knowing about the God that I serve, that he's mighty, that he's powerful. And that he can get through, do, he can help me get through any situation. A lot of people who are not operating in Holy Ghost power, they mm. won't understand that.
because your piety gives you a calmness. Like you, you sometimes you and watch this. Sometimes you have people that are come around you. Oh, we got to get this paper due on such and such time. We got to get it. And you just sit there and you come. You're like, OK, it's, it'll get done. Your piety, your calmness and knowing, first of all, you're a child of God. God's not going to put more on you than you can bear and that you're going to be able to operate and you're going to get the job done mm. and not just get the job done. You're going to get it done with the spirit of excellence. See, it. See that piety keeps us calm. It keeps us level. But you only can have that through what? Holy Ghost, Ghost power. power. <laughs> All right. Number seven. The last one. Reverence for the Lord. Reverence for the Lord. Some people will say fear. But when we use that word fear, you know, I, I God does not want us to be afraid. He wants us to reverence him. Because if God wanted us to be afraid, he wouldn't want to be in a, a relationship with us. But God wants us to reverence him and acknowledge that he's 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 powerful mm. you don't play with god you don't disrespect mm. god you know sometimes you have people they'll say things um oh uh what is that you know speaking holy ghost and i heard about speaking in tongues and they want to mock it or make fun mm. don't do that don't no. blaspheme the holy ghost if you don't understand it at this time if you don't know about it this time it's best to keep your mouth shut about it say it right we god wants us to have that reverence you know, some people, I, I know when you walk by a church, I, I remember back in the day when we would walk by a church, when I was with my grandmother and my mom, we would be quiet to reverence that the spirit of the Lord was there in mm. that place. See it. Right? Yes. Reverence. We honor him. We give him reverence. We, we take our time to say, let's put aside time to worship the Lord, our God in spirit and truth. Whether your Sabbath is on a Saturday or a Sunday or a Friday, you take that time to say, mm. I worship him. I reverence say it, say it. the Lord, yes. my, God. my God. He wants us to have reverence for him mm. because that reverence keeps us in a place of what relationship. Mm. But you know what? You can't have that reverence because this carnal world out here will have you missing church and prayer and everything mm -hmm. else that that will build up your spirituality. They will, the world, the carnal things of the world will pull you away from that. But the only way that you keep reverence for God, reverence for God is through what? Holy, Holy Ghost power. power. This is what the Lord gave me to share with you yes. on today. I hope you got something out of it. And I hope that the seven uh, um, attributes of what the Spirit, Holy Ghost Spirit, the power of the Holy Ghost Spirit gives you that you realize that it's activating and those things are there in your life because of the Holy Ghost. We need the Holy Ghost. And yes. times like these, we need the Holy Ghost. Mm. We need Holy Ghost power to live right, yes. to talk right, to walk right mm. day by day. We need the Holy Ghost power. Yes. Don't ever think that that's something that the Holy Ghost Spirit, the, Ho the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Oh, that's just some, you know, made up religious stuff. No, it's real. From the very beginning of time, it was the Father, Son and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Son. Yes. And the Holy Spirit now lives on the inside of God's children. So that we can once again be connected to him in relationship and so that we can walk through this earth and we can get through all of the wiles of the enemy because the spirit of God will lead us to the truth and show us what we need to do and where we need to go mm. and how we need to get things done. Holy Ghost power. Let the Holy Ghost rest, rule and abide within you. Keep your mind stayed on him. So that he can't keep you in perfect peace. Romans 15, 13. The God of hope fill you with joy and peace. Keep your joy. Keep your peace. Keep your mind stayed on him. Mm. And I tell you, you're going to make it. Yes. I, the, this is what the Holy Spirit gave me on today. Because somebody needed to know you're going to make it. Allow for mm. the Holy Spirit to work on the inside of you. To lead and to guide you. And you're going to be all right. Say it. Oh, the prize is, uh, is up the road. Don't let me tell you something. God, all the hard work and time that you've been putting in, what man has not seen, the things that you have been doing but behind closed doors to please God. Oh, it's a day coming where you're going to be rewarded in front of great men and women. Mm. God is working on your behalf. Keep, yeah. keep on going. Keep, keep on going. going. And what, what, whatever you do, don't stop smiling. Keep smiling. Let the enemy know you're not going to steal my joy. Keep your joy. Keep smiling. Keep mm. moving. Keep pressing. The yes. reward is on the way. Yes. 
Father, we honor you. We bless yes. you. We give you glory. We Hallelujah. thank you for your divine word. Yes, we God. thank you for thank the you, Holy Ghost. Yes. Thank you for your divine mm. power from on high. We say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Highly is the glory. Yes. Father, I pray that you revive us once again. Mm. Stir up the gifts on the inside of oh, your people, yes. oh, oh glory. God. Oh, let glory. them not oh, become glory. dormant or stagnant, mm. but let them know that you have given them power from yes. on high. Oh God, that you have endued them, Father, mm. so that they can go through this earth, oh God. Yes. with a mighty charge oh god yes. doing what you have called them to do for mm. such a time as this Amen. oh god every dream that has been put on the shelf yes. oh god every diet that has been tossed desire that has been tossed to the side lord i pray that you bring it back to recall i pray father god that you would open up the understanding yes. that you would downpour knowledge and wisdom upon your people yes. lord i thank you for fortifying us mm. i thank you father god for giving us oh god the, the understanding to reverence you so that you, Father God, can keep us in perfect peace Thanks. as we keep our mind stayed on you. Yes. Lord, I pray that you do not withhold any good thing because your word says you won't. But those of us who trust and believe in you, let your children know that, Father God, that you have not forsaken them, that mm. you will never leave them. And, Father God, let them know that their living and their work yes. is not in vain. Mm. Let them not be weary in their well-doing. But, Father, help them, oh God, to stand strong and to keep on standing. Mm. Father, I thank you for the blessings. I thank you for the testimonies that are coming forth in the yes. name of Jesus. I thank you for your Holy Ghost power that's going to be activated in your children wherein people will see around them the signs, the wonders, and the miracles being activated in yes. their lives. Father, I glorify you and I thank you because you've done it before mm. and I know you can do it again. Yes. I thank you, Father, thank you, because you are not a man that you would lie, but Father God, everything that you say, everything, Father God, that you put in place for us, oh God, you allow for it to be extended and the only thing we have to do is reach out and grab it and receive mm. it. So Father, in the name of Jesus, let your people, even those who don't yet understand what it all means about the Holy Spirit, touch them, Father. Yeah. Touch them where it will not be a mystery to them, mm. but they will come into the full knowledge and understanding of Holy Ghost power. Yes. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We thank glorify you, you yes. for all things great and small. Continue to move in our lives as we reverence you in spirit and in truth. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, somebody say amen. 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 And yeah. amen. Come on, let's give God some glory yeah. right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful say. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come yes. on. Wave your hands. Hallelujah. Come on. Clap your hands. Yes. Hallelujah. Activate your power. That's what you're doing. You ain't doing nothing but making the enemy mad because you're activating yes. your power to let him know that he will not overcome you because you have the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful Savior, we bless your name. Mm. Thank you all so much for joining yes. in with us on our seventh wedding anniversary celebration yes. on this service this time that you came in together where we brought ourselves together because we did not fret ourselves amongst the brethren. I say thank you. Thank you. As you celebrate with us, we celebrate with you. Yes. Whatever God is doing in your life, whatever milestones that you are celebrating, we say God bless you. If it's a birthday, if it's an anniversary, if it's a promotion, whatever it may be, God bless you and allow for him to continue to work in your life. We want you to know that we are praying for you and we pray that the blessing of the Lord continue to make you rich adding no sorrow to it and we leave you with this I am blessed and I cannot be cursed because Jesus, Jesus is Lord God, God bless, bless you. you we love you love you